High Adventure. Tonight's story by Terence Kerwin is entitled The Amateur. Yes. Will you come with me, please? I have a car waiting. Who are you? A branch of Scotland Yard. This way, please, sir. Now, look here. What's the game? I have a plane to catch and have nothing to say to the police, now or later. I know that, sir. We'll see you catch your plane. It doesn't leave for two hours. Now, sir, I must ask you to accompany me. Here's my authority. That could be a fake. Look, sir. That's a police car. And a police driver. I suppose so. Well, then, we're not trying to kidnap you or anything. But if you don't come peacefully, I have instructions to force you. Well? Okay. I'll come. But you better have a darn good reason. Threats mean nothing to me, sir. This way. What's your name and rank? You can call me Regan. It's a name. As regards my rank, I have no rank. Now, just a minute, Regan. You said you were a policeman. Policemen have ranks, like the army. I said I was attached to Scotland Yard. I didn't say I was a policeman. And what the blazes are you? Just a civil servant picking up an awkward customer. I don't see anything to chuckle about. I'm due on the four o'clock flight to West Germany. I know, sir. You'll catch the plane, or a later one if need be. What else do you know about me? You're not married, live at Wembley, and you're a research chemist. You're 26 years old, one to blue at Oxford and speak German fluently. Right? Yes. For the love of Mike, who are you? And what do you want with me? I prefer to leave that to my chief to explain. We'll be there in a few minutes. Yes, and not Scotland Yard either. We left it behind there. I'm getting out. This is a snatch if ever there was one. Stay where you are, Mr. West, or I'll knock you out. A gun, eh? So you are a crook. Now, don't be ridiculous. Calm down. We're here. The chief doesn't like men who can't keep their cool. And you can. Now get out. I don't advise you to make a dash for it, Mr. West. This is a dart gun I'm carrying. The after effects are not pleasant. Now, in you go. That door on your right. This is no police department. It's just a block of offices. That's right. We go to the fifth floor. Are you mad or something? There is no fifth floor. Right again, West. I push two and three together. That takes us to the fifth floor. Hmm. <laughs> Rather cunning. Darn dramatic and corny, if you ask me. I didn't. And it's a good safety measure. I can't see how. I know now, and I could talk. You won't do that, Mr. West, I assure you. You might stop breathing if you did. Now, come on. We're here. Ah, here we are. Mr. West, how nice of you to come. Any trouble, Regan? Uh, Not really, sir. Mr. West saw reason in the end. Uh, Yes, of course. The reason was a gun, but not a lethal one, Mr. West, just a dart gun. I believe something similar is used in big game hunting. However, we don't kill unless it's absolutely necessary. Kill? What the blazes is this place? And who are you? I demand an explanation, and now... Sit down, Mr. West. All in good time. I hear you're a research chemist going to a conference in East Berlin, right? Right. I can't see why it concerns you. Hold on now. Why aren't you flying direct to East Berlin instead of getting off at West Berlin? West Berlin is the meeting place. We're all picking up a bus there. Not myself, though. I'm going by car with a friend of mine. I know. That's what interests us. Your friend's name? What's it to do with you? Now, don't stall, Mr. West. It's Frank Nash, isn't it? If you know, why ask? Just checking. We want the truth from you. This conference is being held by a Professor Stern on some new drug he's developed, correct? Yes. But how do you know all this? The conference is common knowledge. 
Of course, we've checked up on you. Part of our job, you might say. And just what is your job, Mr... Uh, Tudor's the name. Your real one? Or just a fake, like your gunman here, Regan? Now, now, Mr. West, please, not a gunman. Just my faithful assistant. Granted, he does get a little over-enthusiastic at times, but only in the course of duty, let me assure you. Oh, yes, duty. You still haven't answered my question. What is your job, and what is this place? You could call it one of the offices used by MI5. And me? I'm in charge of the uh, betterment of Britain. Yes, indeed. Stop that double talk. You're spies, aren't you? Oh, we don't use that word nowadays, Mr. West. We prefer to call ourselves civil servants. Uh, Excuse me, Chief. It's about time. Ah, yes. Show the gentleman in. There's a good chap. Hello, Derek. Frank Nash! (laughs) For the love of Mike, what are you doing here? You should be on that plane with me if it wasn't... uh, If it wasn't for MI5. Yes, and... uh, Hold on. You're not Frank Nash. It looked like him, I'll grant you that, but uh, close up, you're a blasted fraud. Who the places are you? Uh, let's just say he is your friend and chemist colleague for this conference you're going to. It's safer for you to know no more, Mr. West. Now, do sit down again. There's a good chap. Smoke? Drink? No. As you wish. Now, let's get down to why you're here, Mr. West. About ruddy time, now, to... be quiet, West, and listen... You'll both get the four o'clock plane to West Germany as planned. To remind you again, my agent here is Frank Nash to you for this operation. His name is false, as you know, like mine and Regan's. Got that? I promise nothing. Go on. Oh, you'll do as you're told, Mr. West. If not, I assure you I and my department could cook up a nice little crime against you that carries five years in prison. Shall I go on? Yes. Splendid. You and Nash will go to this conference, but afterwards Nash will leave you. He will be replaced by another man who will also look like your friend Nash. Beards are so easy to duplicate. That's why we picked him. We picked you because you've got steady nerves and are not likely to lose your cool, as the youngsters say, in a tight corner. Secondly, you speak fluent German. And lastly, you dashed to save a man who was trying to reach West Berlin in safety. Oh, yes, you've got nerve enough for this operation. How did you find out all this? Simple, my dear fellow. You gave your name to the man you rescued. He was impressed by any man who'd run into a darn near hail of bullets from Russian machine guns. Lucky you didn't die. Oh, well, um, maybe you will this time. What does that crack mean? Just a joke, my dear chap. Some ruddy joke. Anyway, why pick on me? I'm no trained spy. You are expected in East Berlin and will check off against their list, and so will Nash. And what happened to the real Nash? Shall we say he's a little indisposed? Dead? Don't be foolish. We don't kill for the sake of it. He's holidaying in Spain as our guest, as a matter of fact. Minus his beard, of course. He looks like a plucked chicken. Now, enough of small talk. Regan will drive you both to the airport. Please see that you brush up with Nash any awkward questions he might be asked by your fellow travellers. He's no chemist, you know. Now, Mr. West, Her Majesty's government will repay you handsomely if you carry this off all right. If not, she'll pay for your funeral. Well, thanks. Nice to know. And nice to know we won't be attempting to get over the wall. I must have been mad to have run for that wounded man. I'm glad you were mad then, my dear chap. That man was one of my best agents. Nash here will be taking his place. You take in an operator and bring out a defector. So simple and double-saving, wouldn't you agree? As regards the wall, you'd never make it today, Mr. West. I can't have you attempting that. There's not only the wall to consider. There are guards by the dozen and all with Doberman pinches as guard dogs. Not to mention anti-personnel mines. Oh, no. You'd both be walking to a certain grave. The legal way through is the answer, and you'll carry it out. Nash will brief you how the switch is made. Now, good day to you. Not so fast. If I'm to be paid for this, when do I collect and how much? I'm not a wealthy man. I need the money. Dear me, so many money grabbers these days. Come here when you return from Germany. I'll have 4,000 pounds waiting for you. That suit you? It'll do. It'll have to. I'm stretching the budget as it is. Now again, good day and good luck. Uh, 
Ah, Regan, see them off all right? Uh, yes, Chief. Like little lambs to the... I won't say slaughter, except for West. He'll never make it, Chief. He'll have to, up to a point, as you well know. Forgive me for disagreeing, Chief, but he'll bungle it. This is no game for amateurs. You're wrong, Regan. Only an amateur can get away with it. He was a pro, and it would be curtains for him. The Russians are not fools. They'd spot a pro a mile off. But an amateur with a cool nerve might. All right, I admit it. Might get away with it. A talking of spotting, Chief. I think the Russians will spot the switch. Their heights are not quite the same, you know. I know, but it'll never be noticed in the confusion. Oh, blast, this new scramble is really deafening. Um, sorry, sir, what did you say? Oh, yes, West swallowed it. Hook, line and sinker, as they say. Make it, sir? He's as much chance as me selling fridges to the Eskimos. Yes, sir, it's all arranged. The switch takes place at 38 Wilhelmstrasse. Yes, I'd like that. The club at seven. I'll order you your usual whiskey, but a double this time. After all, this department is celebrating in a way, killing three birds with one stone. Yes, Minister, I thought you'd like that. for me, West. I've had a lot more experience with these commies than you have. Well, that's not much, then. I've had none. Marvellous, isn't it? Settled with the right green shot. You'll be okay. Just don't panic. Try and imagine I am your friend Nash going to a conference. You're innocent, West. Know nothing. Keep thinking that way. And that's all right for you. You didn't see those guards shoot at that poor devil I saved. It was a miracle we weren't both riddled with bullets. Don't kid yourself. I've seen what you nearly did, and many times... In other words, the poor devil didn't make it. I've also seen a man deliberately entombed alive in the tunnel he dug under the wall. Do you mean they really do dig tunnels as a means of escape? Yes. Sometimes even better than many prisoner of war efforts. Now, quiet. The guards are eyeing us suspiciously. Achtung! Achtung! Your business in Berlin, comrades. We're research chemists due at Professor Stern's conference. Ah, yes. So good, comrade Stern. Uh, your passports, please. I wish to check them against the list. Yeah. Uh, thank you, comrades. Uh, please to wait. I will not be long. The list is in the hut. All is in order, comrades. You may proceed. Uh, may you enjoy your stay in the true Berlin. <laughs> yes, of course. The one true Berlin. Ah, an English humorist. <laughs> yeah, comrade? <laughs> yes, yes. And goodbye. Of it is then, comrade. Until later. You fool, Wes. Huh? You aren't expected to reply to that crazy humor. It makes you look as if you've something to hide. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I, I thought it was the right answer. Yeah, thought. Just watch it on the way back with my replacement. That's all. Guard will go over you both with a flea comb, inch by ruddy inch. Forget it. We'll be late for the conference. Well, did you enjoy the talk by the professor? Mm, not I could understand of it. I'm no chemist, but at times it didn't seem to make sense. As though you were holding something back. My thoughts exactly, and I am a chemist. Mm. I'm sure he'd been warned not to give away too much. He barely mentioned the new drug he'd developed. Darn it, Nash. That's what we all came here for, to hear about it. It would be a boon in wartime. At least I gathered that from the little he did say about it. I'm not surprised he hedged about the drug if it would be useful in wartime. Makes me think the Russians wanted the Allies there to show off their power. Just let the Professor say so much and no more. Sort of whetting our appetites and frightening us at the same time. Huh? Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense, all right. You see, I noticed quite a few of the KGB blokes mixing with the audience. You mean the Russian secret police? That's one way of describing them. I prefer to use the word killers. Well, let's move. The switch takes place at 38 Wilhelmstrasse. It's not far from here, but we'll have to take a devious route in case of a tale. Are you expecting one? Not really, but I'm taking no chances. 
You see, West, it's often standard procedure for visitors to East Berlin. It all depends on how much they suspect us. And after your little effort with that guard, I'll forget it. Let's go. I'll drive. I hope this defector looks like you after saying that guard would remember me. He'll pass if you don't mess it up. Oh, thanks. What are you going to do after the switch? I haven't a clue until I get my orders from our top agent here. Tudor the wily devil always tells an agent as little as possible in case he gets caught going in. If I don't know, I can't talk. This agent will fill the details in of my operations. At the moment, I know as much as you. Take you to the rendezvous, change places with the defector, and fade. Ah, here's the turning. Yeah, looks a dingy street. Half the buildings are in ruins. Well, what did you expect? Oxford Street on a sunny day? Oh, that'd be stupid, of course not. But all the same, it's some dirty street. And that's saying something, even for East Berlin. Quiet. Keep it cool from now on. Mm -hmm. Wrong move, and it could mean a bullet. The defector's a nervous blighter at the best of times, and this one's going out the easy, yet dangerous way. Come again? I mean, Checkpoint Charlie is the legal way, but it's not easy. The war? <laughs> You stand the chance of getting blown up. Checkpoint, Charlie. Your back riddled with machine gun bullets if the guards get the slightest suspicions. It all adds up to the same in the end. Very dead. Quiet. Here. Follow me. That's the first signal. The simpler the better in these kind of capers. Who? Who is it? Your cousin Frank. For Pete's sake, is that him? Yes. Oh, blasted Nash. He can't even speak English without a heavy German accent. How the heck can he pass for you, an Englishman? You just have to do the talking. Now be quiet. What time is it? Oh, I don't know. I have no watch. Uh, at last. Pleased to come in, gentlemen. Oh, you're a fool, Hoffman. You should have asked me that before you opened the door. We could have been the KGB. Berlin's swarming with them, all looking for you. I'm so sorry, Herr... Herr... Nash will do. This is your escort, West. He's a genuine research chemist and will see you through Checkpoint Charlie. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Professor Stern's conference, yeah? Yes, yes, and you leave the talking to me. We won't get a yard with your accent, even if you are made up to look like Nash. I understand. When do we leave? I'm tired of being here. It is days since I arrived. It is a filthy hole, only fit for rats. And there are plenty of them, my friends. Better them than being interrogated by the KGB, Hoffman. Do not mention that name, my friend. My flesh creeps at the very thought of it, as you English say. Well, you and West will leave 15 minutes after I do. Here are the keys, West. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Uh, can I have a gun? I see you're carrying one. Are you mad? Find a gun on you and you've had it. Kaput. Hey, Hoffman? Yeah, yeah, kaput. Just a bullet. That's after they've drained you of dry of information you do not have, my friend. So please, no guns. Okay. I can take a hint. But open the door! Uh, what's please! That? Hey. You've been blown, Hoffman. No, no, no one knows I'm here. I, it must have been just a routine check, please. Come with me, I hide you. Where? Upstairs. The bed's still unmade. You both get under the pile of blankets at the foot of the bed. I'm coming! Please to wait. I get the key. It's his face. It's his face. Hurry, hurry. Okay, Hoffman, you go and let them in. We'll hide here. No tricks. Or you're the first to get a bullet. I will not give you away, Mr. Nash. Open the door and break it down. Go, man, go. Yeah. Come on, West. Under the blankets, quick. You okay? Nothing showing. Help. And keep dead still when we're dead. If they find us, I'm going to shoot it out. Quiet. They're coming. I see you sleep late, comrade. Yeah, yeah, comrade, comrade. 
I have the bad headache. I see. Oh, here's your papers. Uh, yeah. so, uh, they seem to be in order. Now let us check downstairs. I always like to check upstairs first. Yeah, boy. Stay here, West. I'm going to check if I can hear what's going on. Why? We're safe enough. Possibly, but if they torture Hoffman, he could tell them he's a defector. The KGB wouldn't interfere, of course. They don't work that way. They'd let us take Hoffman, but force him to become a double agent by threats to his family. It's been done before. Defectors worth having are high-ranking boffins who usually get top-secret jobs. Hoffman was Professor Stern's assistant, so you see that... They started. Wait here. If Hoffman begins to cough up his guts, I'm going to shoot the KGB men. Let's hope there are only two of them. They usually go in pairs. Who are you expecting here, comrade? Nobody, comrade. Colonel, I swear you. You're far from your home, comrade. Why? I came to see my sister. She lives here? Yeah, yeah, but she's out. Very well. We'll return when she returns. Do not attempt to leave the house in the meantime, comrade, under any circumstances. Is that understood? Yeah, yeah, comrade. Colonel. Stop calling me, colonel. I'm a captain. Come, Ivan. We'll check elsewhere until this sniveling comrade sister returns. Come on, West, they've gone. Hoffman hasn't given anything away, but he's been tortured all right. Usual KGB stuff. It's quick and brings results if one's in a hurry. What have they done to him? I think we'll find his fingers bleeding. They drive a sharp instrument up under the nails. Extremely painful. They have gone. My hands. My hands. Here, take this. What is it? A pill to ease the pain. Oh, yeah. I'm leaving now. Wait 15 minutes, no longer. Then leave yourselves. Good night. I do not think we are going to make it here, West. Now that Nash is gone, he's a pro. Not amateurs like you and me. He is a... Is my disguise all right? Yeah. It's done here perfect. Oh. You and Nash can pass as twins. Talking of disguises, what does Nash look like without his? I have no idea, my friend. Now let's go. The KGB will soon be back. Now you leave the talking to me, Hoffman. Now quiet. We're approaching Checkpoint Charlie. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Oh. My good English humorist and comrade Nash, uh, please to step out of the car. We wish to check it. And you. Come into the hut, comrades. That man with a beard is an imposter. His beard isn't straight. What is this? Let me look closer, comrade Nash. There! I... So! It is a false beard. You two are under arrest. Please to come with me. Ben West, you actually made it. Yes, but I'm afraid your defector didn't, Tudor. They took him at Checkpoint Charlie. My credentials proved I was innocent, and so they let me go. But it took some proving. Splendid, West. It all worked out better than even I realized. You see, this is one time the KGB should have tipped off the guards to let Hoffman go. Let him go? I'm afraid I don't understand. Oh, Hoffman was no defector. He was a double agent still working for the Russians. He couldn't be. He was tortured. Ah, but they would do that part of his cover to impress Nash. Knowing all this, we used you and Hoffman to cause a confusion at Checkpoint Charlie so that we could get the real defector out. He was right behind you. Remember that voice who called out that Hoffman's beard wasn't straight? Yes, I wondered about him. <laughs> I'll bet you did. That was Nash without his disguise. <laughs> you sure play a double, double game, Tudor. You have to. It's the only thing that works these days. Come from behind that screen, my dear chap, and meet the man who made it all possible. Well, for the love of Mike, Professor Stern. But, of course, who else would be worth having as a defector? Hi 
Adventure is produced by Henry Duffenthal.